Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0, and today is day 51. So yesterday we introduced you to the Campaigns applet, and today I'm going to show you how to use that applet to create and schedule a social post. So we're going to come into the Campaigns applet, that's number seven down the list here, the megaphone and click into campaigns and then just like with many other things inside of command we want to create something new we've got that big teal green blue button in the top right hand corner we're going to click on create campaign and the first campaign i'm going to teach you how to do is the social post so we're going to click on social post and you can see this brings up kind of your uh, editor what you're going to build out for the campaign so the first thing is your text uh, you can see that if you are using Facebook, you're going to have 2,200 characters that you can use for this description. Just a quick note, if we scroll down, you can see that you can also connect Twitter. And if you do so, then it's going by the lowest common denominator for character limitation, which is 280 characters inside of Twitter. So just something to be aware of, depending on where you're posting, the character count for your description will change. So we're going to go ahead and put in the text. Uh, check out my new beautiful listing. Uh, amazing water views on your own private peninsula. Uh, did I spell that wrong? Let's get that corrected right. There we go. And too many upgrades to list. You'll have to see this one to believe it, right? You all remember that we were doing a, on day 45, we actually created a just listed social graphic. This is where we can bring that into play. So this is sort of the interconnectivity between campaign and designs. When we go down to the second section, this is where I can decide what the actual design will be or the content of this social post. So I do have the ability to upload an image straight from my hard drive. I do have also the ability to browse the designs library. In addition, you can bring in videos, right? So you can see what the uh, situation, if you want to upload a video, it must be smaller than 40 megabytes and less than 120 seconds. The uh, supported formats, MP4, M4V. You can also use a video URL. So if you have something like YouTube, etc., again, less than 40 megabytes and less than 120 seconds supported formats mp4 or m4b in this case though we created that design in the design library on day 45 and here it is you'll remember that we created this so we're going to select that image as our image to um, create i will say occasionally when i'm selecting an image from the design library i get an error that says it's not quite ready if you get that error just go back through the process one more time and typically the second time around it will be ready for you to post. So we don't need to do any cropping. This is already laid out appropriately. So we're gonna click on crop image and we are good to go. Now, something to note here uh, in the second section is the DBA logo. Um, so depending on your state, your market center rules, et cetera, uh, right, you may or may not be required to have your DBA logo on your marketing materials. Um, I already have the DBA logo on this marketing piece. You can see here in the top right hand corner. And so command is attempting to put it again in the bottom left. Because I already have it in the top right, I don't need this logo. So I'm gonna click on the X to remove it. Um, again, just make sure that you kind of know the guidelines and rules with regards to your advertising requirements. Uh, next at the final bottom section here, you've got schedule. So this is a pretty cool uh, feature of the social post campaigns and that I can decide that I want this post to go out on my Facebook, my Twitter, or both immediately, right? Which would be published immediately, or I can schedule this for a future date. So I can come out and say, hey, I'd like for this to go live on Monday. If you remember inside of designs, it was pretty easy to change this photo. Right. And so you could literally create three separate designs very quickly and easily save each one of those inside your design library and then come into campaigns and set up one social post to go out on Monday and then another one to go out on Wednesday and then another one to go out on Friday. 
right? So just one example of how you can quickly and easily use designs and campaigns to have effective and impactful social media content. So uh, once I've selected what day and time I want this post to actually go out, I can come down and select which channels I want it to go out on. And then once doing so, I would click on schedule post. It's gonna say, are you sure you want to schedule this post? Then I'll click on schedule post. This will now show up inside of the social posts home screen. So when I'm under my social post tab, right, you can see we selected that to go out on the 16th of August at 10 a.m. on Facebook and Twitter. And if I scroll down, you can see that right here. Now, this isn't technically my listing. And so if something was wrong with the photo, maybe the image is incorrect, maybe your verbiage isn't quite as light, great as you wanted it to be, you do have the ability to click on the three dots and delete it as long as the post has not already been you know, sent over to Facebook. So we're gonna go ahead and delete this for now just so it doesn't post to my account, but a way to show you, you can also edit it as well if you just needed to correct the spelling or something similar. So we'll delete that post and I'll say, are you sure? And I'll say yes. Um, but that's it for today. Really the first campaign that we're gonna dive in from the campaigns app with the social posts how to create content for your Facebook business page or Twitter account, and then schedule that to go out or publish immediately through the applet. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to dive into another one of these three. Haven't quite decided, but you'll find out then. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking to you at that time. Hope everyone's having a great day. Talk to you soon.